so the costume designer can measure her. And one, and two, and three. Oh, no! Oh, my dear two, sister, I am going to have the first dance with Prince Barry Chan. Ha-ha! <laughs> I am the older sister. I shall decide who has the first dance with the prince. Prince. Well, it says prince here. Another typo. Sorry, my fault. Excuse me, people. Everyone, a moment for your director. I know I've been working you hard, but I wanted to take a moment before our dress rehearsal tonight to thank you for the marvelous job everyone is doing. I know our production of Barryella and Prince Barry Charming is going to be a delightful surprise for our baby Barrykins. Strawberry, you are doing a very fine job as Barryella. <laughs> Still, Breeze. Oh, sorry, Berry Fairy Fashion Mother. Raspberry, you are also doing a wonderful job. <laughs> Thank you, Plum. Lemon, our makeup artist hairstylist, and our writer Blueberry as Barryella's mean and jealous stepsister. <laughs> yeah. Our stage manager, Orange. <laughs> and our fabulous music director, Cherry Jam. <laughs> Hi. Thanks. Oh, and where is our Prince Berry Charming? Hi, Berry Can Tim? You what? Oh, no! You did? You didn't. Well, that's terrible. You get some rest and don't worry about a thing. That was Berry Can Tim. Prince Berry Charming is now Prince Berry Limping. He broke his toe playing Kick the Apricot Pit. He's gonna be on crutches for three weeks. Great! And I just finished his costume. There aren't any other Berrykins in town as tall as Too Tall Timmy. Oh, no. I wouldn't say that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. <laughs> hey, hey, wait! Hold on! Help! Uh. I told you to let her lead. Guys, you were absolutely marvelous. How fast can you do a rewrite? Barryella and Prince Barry on a long trip won't be back till next fall. Instead of a rewrite, how about a re-cast? Huck? Hi, it's Blueberry. Hey, Blueberry. How's everything in Berry Bitty City? Splendid, splendid. We're putting on a play. Wow, great. Give me a call when it opens. I'd love to come down and see it. Well, I was wondering if you'd like to be in it? Me? You want me to be in your play? Uh, I've never done any acting. I don't know. What would I have to do? Well, you'd be one of the stars. But what would I have to do? It's a terrific role. He's handsome, suave, debonair. But what do I have to do? Oh, well, you know, memorize some lines and say them. It's really fun. Please? Yeah! yeah. Please! <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. I, uh, whoa, <laughs> you're all there. Strawberry? She's at the cafe, making lunch for the rehearsal. Every member of the cast and crew gets a catered lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Well, uh, if you really want me to. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Huck. I'll email a script. See you as soon as you can get here. Okay. We have a Prince Berry Charming! <laughs> but, but, everyone in the land is invited to the first ball of the season. Why, why can't I go? Why, you have nothing fitting to wear. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> but couldn't I borrow something of yours? Ah, oh, the idea! Sister, do you hear her? Our vile stepsister has the nerve to demand one of my frocks. <laughs> oh, now I 
shall never dance with Prince Very Charming. I... Oh, muffin crumbs. That's not in the script. No, I spilled. Speak not such nonsensical buffoonery. <laughs> oh, hi, Huck. No, <laughs> I didn't mean you. We're rehearsing the play. Great, I'll tell them. Uh, no, we're at the cafe, getting dinner for the cast and crew. We'll be at the theater in two, no, three minutes. Excellent, see you there. Oh, and thanks again, Huck. I can't tell you what this means to us. You're a real prince. <laughs> He's ten minutes from town. Oh, it's so great he wanted to do it. Oh, he couldn't wait. Of course, the idea of having your lunches and dinners is what sealed the deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's everything. Shall we get this show on the road? Charming doesn't show up soon. This whole production's gonna turn into a pumpkin. I've saved dinner for Huck whenever he gets here. Didn't he say he was? Yeah, said he was 10 minutes away. That was hours ago. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Finally, oh, he's very charming. Okay. May I present our very own Prince Barry Charm. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> no, really, I, uh... <laughs> thanks, but I'm so sorry. I was almost here and realized I had left the script you emailed me at home. Had to turn all the way around, go all the way back, and... Well, I thought you'd all be asleep by now. We were. And dreaming of our Prince Barry Charming. Hey, well, <laughs> Charming, that's me, I guess. Hmm. The play's great. Mm. Nice writing, Blueberry. Thank you, Huck. Coming from a great writer like you, I'm... Well, thank you. And I've been practicing my lines. I... Uh... Mm? Hi, Raspberry. What? Taking your measurements. <clears throat> Taking your measurements. For your costume? Me? That's me? It's going to be you when I get done with... Mm, when the costume is finished. A little makeup, a little work on the hair, and presto! Even you won't know you. <laughs> <laughs> well, charming. That's me. So, how about we rehearse the scene where Barriella meets Prince Barry Charming for the first time? I know that one. The scene where I say, Good evening, and may a humble prince ask who is this enchanting lady? <gasps> Whoa! You memorized your lines already? Well, pretty much, yeah. Excellent! Okay, Huck, right here. Bariella, you'll be entering. You see the prince. The prince will see Bariella. Mm -hmm. You're a prince. Yep. Regal. Right. Charming, but not snooty. Yes. Aristocratic, but not arrogant. Yep. You are going to impress her. Got it. Mood music! You're on. Hmm. Good evening. And may a humble prince ask just who's this enchanting oh. lady? Huh? How's that? <gasps> Different. I'd even say unique. I think uh, we want to relax into the oh. character. Yes. It's just an everyday ball. Sure. You go to balls all the time. Yes. No big deal for a prince like you. Got it. Hi. So, good evening. And may a humble prince ask who is this enchanting <gasps> lady? <gasps> Interesting. <laughs> Got an idea. Evening, ma'am. Another idea. Good evening. Good evening. Ow! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My fault. 
Good evening! This is your humble prince asking the question. <gasps> Who is this enchanting lady? It's gonna be a long night. Oh, Prince Berry Charming, I can't begin to tell you how delightfully happy I am to finally meet you at this royal... Cut the music! Uh-huh. It's okay. It's all right. I'm kind of thinking that eek isn't what Barriella would feel for the prince at this moment. No, it's what I was feeling for my feet. I was stepping on them. Huh? See, I, uh, don't, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to dance. Oh, well, no problem. Hmm. Our choreographer will have you waltzing in no time. Who's that? Me. Music! <laughs> That's good. You're eek. getting it just yeah. Maybe not so eek. If you could just yeah. cut the music! I see what you mean. Another idea! Well, he's getting better, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I've had worse students. Not many, but some. Don't worry. I'll learn it. I'll learn it. You know it's late. How about we break? Everything will mm -hmm. go better after a good night's sleep. You're right, Strawberry. Everyone's been working really hard. Let's call it a night. I'll practice my dancing in the morning. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Blueberry, huh? did you say he really wanted to do this? Oh, yeah, he couldn't wait. I mean, I was excited. I'm pretty sure he was too. Why? It's just, he doesn't seem to be having a good time. I mean, this is supposed to be fun. Well, what do you think? Will it do? Yeah, I guess it'll have to. I think it'll make a great Barriella coach. Are you sure you looked everywhere? I'm telling you, Ed, there isn't a pumpkin to be had. It's just not pumpkin season, you see. Yeah. Okay. What? What is it? How do we get it to the stage? Strawberry. Morning, Huck. How's the practicing going? Really great. A little more practice and your feet will be safe at the dress rehearsal tonight. <laughs> 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 no, you'll be fine. We'll have fun. Are you having fun? Oh, well, sure. Wouldn't want to let you all down, would I? It's really good of you to do this for us, but we wouldn't want you to do it if it didn't feel comfortable for you. And fun. You know? Oh, sure. Of course. <laughs> well, don't wear out your feet before dress rehearsal tonight. Ha, 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 ha! 
Last rehearsal, it was 20. Tell you what, let's take a break from dancing. Great. Cherry can run through your song with you. Song? Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Uh -huh. Well, Plum, how do you like Barry Yellow's pumpkin coach? I love it. Plum? Except it looks like a watermelon. It is a watermelon. Pumpkins are out of season, but no problem. One pumpkin coming up. We'll have her finished before the curtain rises and Ed says, giddy up. <laughs> A watermelon? What else can go wrong? Plum. Yes? There's something I should tell you. Did you hear? The prince is searching... Uh, the entire... Uh, searching the entire land for the girl who left the ball at midnight last night. Does he know who she is? Blueberry! Oh, hi, Plum. Just bringing lunch over now. Huh? You're kidding. Okay. I'll tell them. The Prince Charming song is out. Huck can't sing. You both look great, if I do say so myself. Now, huh? don't worry. You know what they say. Bad dress rehearsal, great show. Or is it bad dress rehearsal, bad show? Just remember, no matter what happens, the show must go on. We'll be fine. Just have fun. Hmm? At least there's nobody here to see me if I mess up. Oh, no. That's not till tomorrow night. The place uh, will be packed. It will? Sure. We're giving the show for all the Barrican kids. Y you mean there's going to be an, an audience? Of course. That's the whole point. Okay, you ready, Huck? 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 Oh, no. Curtain's going up. <laughs> What's with him? Worst case of stage fright I've ever seen. He can't move. What'll we do? The show must go on. Oh, Prince Berry Charming. I can't begin to tell you how delightfully happy I am to finally meet you at this royal ball. Here, at this royal ball. Why, thank you, Berriella. And may I say that you dance divine, divine, divinely. You dance. Devani. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the girls in the land. You know what we say at the castle. If the hat fits, wear it. Let me try it on first. No, me first. Me! And now, now, patience, please. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. I am sorry. It seems that you are not the one I danced with at last night's ball. What do you think? Is it working? Working is... isn't... well, it isn't the word I would have chosen. Hmm. So, what does everybody want to hear for tonight's story time? I know. Because tomorrow night you're all having a special surprise, how about I read you... Fairy Yella and Prince Fairy Charming. Aww. We heard it. I'm not we are. Oh, oh, my goodness. Excuse me. I've got to make a phone call. Don't worry, Huck. Maybe performing just isn't your best thing. You know, like, writing isn't my best thing. Really, huh? Excuse me, Huck. Hello? Hi, Blueberry. What? Hmm? Don't be sorry. It's actually 
Not such bad news as you might think. Uh, thank you, Blueberry. I'll call you later. Listen, Huck. We have a problem I think you might be able to help us with. Does it involve acting, dancing, or singing? <laughs> well, I just found out Berryella and Berry Prince Charming isn't the Berrykin Kid's favorite story. Uh -huh. Do you think you and Blueberry could write a different play for us? Now that'd be something I'd like to co-star in. Okie dokie. That'll do it. One pumpkin coach at your service. Uh, can you make sure you put a pumpkin coach in the new play? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Buck. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a um, cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. May I ask, you seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm going to have to tell them they can't. Why not? My um, guest room, it's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how I'm going to tell them. Oh, my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they'd put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah, like little travel or, uh, oh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and pretty hand soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. Never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> guess so. <laughs> Their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out. Your guests will love it so much. Next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh, me. Oh, my. You even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh, yes, but <laughs> oh, you never know what will happen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Very Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie.
Katiebug. Hi, I'm Lily. Nice to meet you. You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit JD Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousins sure are kidders, JD Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Uh, not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is too. Hey, that's my favorite color. Is not. Yeah-huh. Is so. What? No straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. <laughs> we don't use straws in a teacup. <laughs> Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk, or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sadie Bug, uh, Katie Bug! <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is just their way. Oh, Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're going to be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? Uh, just... <laughs> The great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here. Look at this. Hello, <laughs> 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 girl. <coughs> Let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume. <coughs> Yum! Mmm, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Oh, 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 uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? <laughs> they should do a comedy routine at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. <laughs> so, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh, well... Oh, boy, you must be having a great time. Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? Uh-huh. Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> <laughs> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. 
not. Come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <laughs> If you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, this is a cafe. Like, where people eat stuff. And that's what we're doing. each other down. Oh! Ah! <laughs> so super fun! Karaoke! Hey, give me a turn. I sing better than you. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing! <sighs> uh, how do you turn this thing on? We are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best friends forever. Ever, 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 ever. Give me that. <laughs> Very best friends for forever. Forever. <laughs> we never let each other. surprise of the performance before cabaret night, do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, what did you do with you? My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh... I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. <laughs> You'd better go now while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. I'm sorry, Custard. Pupcake, we'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I better check on Mr. Longface and, and those twins. <laughs> Mr. Longface! I'm sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> Use a sled. <laughs> hey. 
The cafe is closed. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll come back later and help you clean up. We got a little carried away. <laughs> oh, a little help here. Strawberries Cafe. Hope you're having a very nice day. Oh, hello, Princess Berrykin. Yes, they're cleaning everything up, doing a very good job. I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock winding room. Sorry. Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, <laughs> I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. <sighs> oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of them. I'm just, uh, full up. Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> yeah. Very bitty city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Mellonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay, <laughs> we're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean, none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey, I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by, by, why, you are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I mean, um, may we come in? Well, sure. Please do. <laughs> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh, and be nice house guests? 
I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> if you also let me teach you how to sing. Uh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> each other down as long as we're together things will always turn around our city girls have the courage we're not afraid to take our chance in the end it's always worth it so make your move and do your dance you might get lost but it's okay when you've got your friends Favorite story? <gasps> favorite story? Wait, which is your favorite story? Huh. Beauty and the Berrykin Beast? Nah, Berrykins are too cute to play beasts. The very sleepy Berrykin Princess. Huh. Hiya, Plum. <sighs> I'm still trying to find the perfect berry fairy tale to do as a surprise play for the Berrykin kids. Well? I just heard they have a favorite story. They do? Which one is it? Wait, don't tell me. Is it Goldilocks and the Three Berry Kids? I'm not. Wait, wait. The Berry Frog Prince? Uh, no, but I. Wait, I, I know this. I know. Uh, uh, it's Little Red Berry Riding Hood. Um, Jack and the Berry Stock? I don't. Uh, I give up. Which story is it? I don't know. What? I thought you said the Baby Berry Kids have a favorite story. Well, they do. I just don't know which one it is. Oh, well, we can't ask them. It'll spoil the surprise. How do we find out? <gasps> I think I know who to ask. Ah, <laughs> See you next time. Thank you for the very beautiful berry. Hmm? Strawberry? I got your text. <laughs> I just read them their favorite berry fairy tale today. It's the littlest berrykin. <laughs> of course you can borrow it. Come on over. And they lived happily ever after. I love it! So cute! I've never heard that story before. Do you know if there's ever been a play version of it published? Let's do a search. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see that there has. Well, could you and Huck adapt this story to a play for me? Of course. Oh, this is going to so be great. Excited, Huck. I know just the berry fairy tale to turn into a play. So, welcome all to the first reading of our version of The Littlest Berrykin. Use your imaginations to picture the story. Imagine our stage and a backdrop like this. The narrator begins. Orange, this will be your part. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen, played by me and Blueberry. The king and queen were ready to retire to the tropics, but before departing, it was necessary to pick one of their three daughters to rule the kingdom. It all began one day as the princesses were playing croquet. Of course, they'll pick me. I'm the oldest. Well, you are the oldest, but that doesn't mean you're best fit to rule. The obvious choice is me. Oh, it's hot. I'm roasting out here. 
sorry, Your Royal Highness. Is that better, Princess Respelina? Cooler now, Your Royal Highness? Well, I am the prettiest. Therefore, it should stand to reason Mummy and Daddy will pick me. <laughs> Your turn, Strawberryta. Hurry up, little sister. Hmm. Ugh, she's so slow. They'll never pick her. You're not so speedy yourself, Lemonella. Well, a la berries! I've never heard such nonsense! Ooh. Well <gasps> done! You did! Oh, so oh, <laughs> Thank you. I think she cheated. My thoughts exactly! Lemonella, how can they be your thoughts when they were my thoughts and my thoughts first? Rasbelina, just because you told me your thoughts first doesn't mean you thought them first. <laughs> You are such a dunderhead. Mummy and Daddy will never pick you to rule the kingdom. There is no other choice but me, because I am the choice that is best. <laughs> Sisters, please. <gasps> There's no need to fight. Our royal parents will make the best choice, and whichever of us they choose, the others of us will support. Are you a cuckoo berry? I've had enough of this. Let's go ask them now. And so the impatient princesses, Lemonella and Rasbelina, asked the king and queen if they had come to a decision. <laughs> huh? Who, who are you? What? <laughs> well, what you waiting for? Have you decided to give the kingdom to me or what? <gasps> Is that any way to speak to your royal parents? Uh, whatever. Hmm. How should we speak anyway? Good afternoon, Your Majesties. Like your sister, Princess Strawberryta. She's always so respectful. She cheats at croquet. Yes, that's right. She sure does. <gasps> now, princesses, your mother and I have made a decision. <sighs> it's about time. Give me that crown. <gasps> Do you mind? <clears throat> Our decision is this. <clears throat> Whichever one of you can bring us back the Royal Goldenberry will be awarded the kingdom. What? Royal Golden Who? Uh, well, I never! Better get started. It's a long idea. and challenging journey to find the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> well, what are you waiting for? Go fetch me that berry. Don't listen to her. Go fetch me the berry. The berry is mine, so mine it must be. Perhaps you weren't listening, my dear daughters. You must fetch the royal golden berry yourselves. You each may bring only one berry kin in waiting with you. <sighs> you! That's right, you! <coughs> Step lively, you're coming with me. Y yes, your highness. That's your royal highness to you, buster. Um, yep, sure thing. Anything you say, your your high royalness, royal highness. You there. Let's get going. Excuse me, your royal highness. I'd be happy to help you find the royal goldenberry, but you might not want me because everyone knows <laughs> I'm the littlest berrykin. Little Asparagus, I would be honored if you would help me. And so, each accompanied by their barricade in waiting, the princesses set off on their journey. A journey that is sure to reveal who is real ruler material. The princesses are soon confronted by the first in a series of challenges. The road through the berry patch is blocked by a toll gate guarded by a troll gatekeeper. Uh, the troll will be played by Barrican Bloom. Ah, uh, diamonds, jack of diamonds, <laughs> snarls and flea bites. What I need is a queen. But oh no, that won't work now. <gasps> hey, what's the big idea? Well, now, you see, a uh, toll. Please. Look here, troll. Do you know who we are? I am Princess Raspolina. And I am Princess Lemonella. 
You must do as we say. Raise that bar. Let us pass. I command you as a royal princess. That's right. Mm. Do as you're told, toll mm -hmm. troll. But you must pay the toll. Listen, toll who takes the troll. I order you to do as we say. Hmm, oh my. In all my days as the troll who takes the toll, have I ever been treated in such a rude and unbecoming manner? The haughty princesses huff and puff and kick at the ground like goats, snorting and barking in an ever so unbecoming manner, and still refuse to pay the toll to the troll. <laughs> <laughs> They say... <gasps> Who needs your silly road anyway? We will find our own way! And what do you suppose? But they got stuck in a bramble bush. The troll who takes the toll could hear the princesses doing all kinds of mean and nasty yelling from the bramble bush. Very unfitting for princesses indeed. Brian, please eat your fairies! Not another one. Oh my! A toll booth. Mm, what shall I do? I cannot pay the toll. Well, we'll have to go around. If you don't mind a suggestion? Not at all, little Asparagus. Maybe if you ask the troll nicely? Excuse me, sir. Uh -huh. I haven't a token, but I have a long journey and don't know any other way through the berry patch. If you let me through, I promise to return another time and pay you the toll. Well, that's more like it. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, thank you, sir. Ever so kindly. <laughs> thank you, and come again. Presently, Princess Strawberryta and the littlest berrykin arrived at a vast lake with no way across. But the littlest Berrykin happened to notice a boat Berrykin, who will be played by Princess Berrykin, pulled up at the dock. You must be hungry, littlest Berrykin. Perhaps we should have our picnic here, then walk around the lake. If you wouldn't mind a suggestion? Of course not. Perhaps if you offer to share our lunch with the captain, she'll take us across the lake in her boat. That's a very nice idea. We should share our lunch with her either way. <sighs> Huh? Huh? Ahoy! Huh? I hope we didn't wake you, ma'am. Why no, me lasses. Just take it a wee nap. I am Strawberryta, and this is the littlest berrykin. Would you like to share our picnic? It's such a nice day for one. Arr! And that's mighty generous of you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Dude, Myrtle Berries, how are we supposed to get across this lake? Let's order that scroungy old captain to take us. Good idea. I had that idea too. I just didn't say it as fast as you. Hmm. Ahoy, me hearties. Ahoy, your highnesses, don't you mean? Highness or lowness making a difference to me. I've just had a lunch with a make a salty sea captain do a hornpipe on a yard arm. Arr! So, have you brought me dinner? Dinner? My daddy the king will feed you to the fishes if you don't take us across this lake in your boat, if you can call that a boat, at once. Oh, <gasps> shiver me timbers! Belay that tuck! You lubbers be in your long clothes dressing me about. We are royal princesses. Get a move on. What be ye doing in me vessel, you rap scallion? Did I give you permission to come aboard? Arr! What kind of rig you trying to run? And you don't even offer me any grub, like that charming lass what set sail to yon far shore afore ye. Arr! Oh, no! Huh? Oh, did you hear that, Rasbolina? Strawberryta was here ahead of us. Mm, sour berries. If you took her across, you simply have to take us. Arg! What care I if ye be marooned? I'm tardy for a game of darts at 
the jib and topsail. Gangway, ye hornswoggers! Wait! Come back! Now what? You two clowns, get in here and row us across. Uh, but that's stealing. That boat doesn't belong to us. We are princesses. Everything belongs to us. Now get in. Huh? <laughs> oh, Silver! I want to sit in front. Oh, there's no room for you. <laughs> now look what you did. Me? Yes, you! <laughs> Look, little Asparagus, it's the royal golden berry. Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Mm. Oh, this is going to be very difficult. These poor plants, they need water. Your Highness, if you wouldn't mind another suggestion. Please, come with me. Look! The royal golden berry! Royal raspberries! We got here before Strawberryta! Well, go up there and get it for me! For you? You mean for me! <laughs> <laughs> What are you waiting for? Chop, chop! Chop, chop! <gasps> I know! Whoa! Uh, hey, I said chop, chop! It's my idea! Get out of my way! Uh, Your Highness? Royal ones? We don't treat berry plants that way. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Crumbs. The Royal Highnesses, Your Majesties. Mommy, it's not fair. <gasps> it's all her fault. She told me to go around the toll booth. It was my barricade of waiting. She wouldn't do what I told her. I want a do-over. Yes, we demand a do-over. Now, daughters, calm down. Have either of you the Royal Goldenberry? But she ate out on it! Didn't I? Did too! Here it is! <gasps> well done, Strawberryta! Ever so clever of you, darling. Aw! In each of your challenges, you showed kindness, generosity, and resourcefulness. All virtues becoming to a ruler of a kingdom. She cheated! She didn't show any of those... those... things! Yeah! Things! Whatever! She cheated! We know! We were there! As was <gasps> I! The troll who takes the toll was kind enough to give us a report of your behavior. Lemonella, Rasbolina, I am ashamed by your lack of manners. He wasn't even there when we had to cross the lake! Oh. <gasps> but I was... <gasps> Toss me overboard and sink me! It's pure bilge they speak! These two swabs were very rude! Well, Princess Strawberryta was a sweet lass who shared her lunch with a sea dog. I'd scupper those two scallywags and promote this lass to captain. I... 
<laughs> Excuse me, Your Majesties, but I cannot take credit for the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> <gasps> you see, there was someone who guided me all along the way and gave me good advice. And that was the Littlest Barricade. <sighs> this Royal Goldenberry should belong to you. <gasps> Goldenberry Fairy, and I know everything about you, Princess Strawberryta. You are not only kind, giving, and clever, and humble. Did I mention honest? Well, honest, too. By giving credit where credit is due, you have passed the final test and proved that it is <gasps> you who are worthy to rule the kingdom. <laughs> Aw, you're being royally spoiled! Well, darling, it's off to the islands. Oh, oh, I, oh I can help you with this. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, 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 no problem at all. Well, okay. My beloved royal subjects, my first royal decree is to promote the littlest barricade to royal counselor. Hooray! And so, the littlest barricade proved that it doesn't matter how little you are, you can still do very big things. And so... Under the kind, generous, wise, and humble rule of Queen Strawberryta, the kingdom flourished and everybody lived... Very happily ever after! Well, not quite everybody. You told me we'd reach a stellar kingdom run by...